George, 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 Good. Come aboard. Here we go. Getting his waders on. <laughs> that guy got this big boat crap in my life. I said Jordan hasn't been on the big boat. Come on. <laughs> this ain't big boat life, Jordan. How's it going, everybody? I'm Jordan. It's good. Yep. I'm Vince. I think we met before, right? Yeah, yeah. We talked Vince? at the show. Vince. Yeah. Vince. Jordan. Jordan. Good to see Kyle. you again. Kyle. Good to see you. Aaron. Aaron. Good to meet you. Kyle. Vince. Cool. Aaron. So. I'm calling first pass bite. I it feels like a first pass morning. I'm gonna put these baits on. We're gonna shoot out there. Welcome everybody to another episode of Addicted Life. Today we're out here on the Big River. My man Pop Off. That's right. The Armada's heading out, and we're going to catch us some springers today. It's April 2nd. Yeah. Yeah. April 2nd seems like a pretty fishy day to go catch one of these beauty, beautiful fish, dude. That's right. What's it looking like today? It's looking good. Uh, it's been been hit or miss we've been getting a few so i like we'll, that attitude i think we'll dial them up <laughs> yeah first pass first pass Calling fish it. it's really fishy the temperatures changed like 20 degrees from yesterday got a little rain yeah i got a little sprinkle coming in the water what are we high tide right now no it's uh it's just starting the outgoing so we'll get outgoing for the first part of the morning then a real good incoming in the afternoon so and the afternoon's kind of been we're jumping been at. i know there's carp jumping oh everywhere. they're everywhere guys in here well, stay tuned, guys. We have an awesome day in store for you. We're going to go out and get us a springer. That's so, all right. Stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in. To do once we get set up uh, well you always your bow rods always want to be pointed forward you guys always want to be pointed back so we don't tangle each other long leaders long rods lots of stuff going on so now you're baiting the water first then your flasher let it straighten out then your red we just toss it all in everything's gonna be a tangled mess we won't be fishing we'll be tangled we don't want to do that so uh We'll, uh, I'm gonna make the turn here. I want you guys to get them spun around and, and get your gear in the water. All right, go ahead and get your baits laid in the water. How's your spin, Jordan? It looks good. Get it down there, Jordan. So, Jordan, you just gotta drop till your bottom, the bottom. Drop it till we're on the bottom. Drop it on the bottom. So, when you get a bite, it is absolutely imperative that you do not touch the rod. Just let it do its thing, okay? I'll just say, hey, I'm getting bit. I'll probably see it before you do, unless it's this rod. But when you get a bite, these things will shoot. They bite like trout. Right. Well, not necessarily like trout. <laughs> they, they really do start chewing. It's going to look like this. It's just going to be and that's going to get heavier and heavier and stay pinned. Once that rod stays pinned, consistently stays down and torqued over, I'll tell you to lift it up. You don't have to set the hook. Come up and crank on that bow rod, Vince. Uh, you don't have to set the hook or anything. Just pick it up. And how you get it out of the rod holder is just like this. You just put one hand on the top, lift the pressure off of the rod on the top, and pull out the way from it. Okay. Right on. Game time, boys and girls. Good. Does that mean we're fishing? I'm feeling fishy. It's a fishy day. Well, no pretty quick if we're here. Kind of the idea is we're going to just cut around and 
see if there's some fish here. If we're not seeing any activity, we might run up one more little hop up and then we'll go out to the Columbia a little bit later. All hatcheries today. Jordan, what was that? Hatchery day, I heard. I heard when, or Tuesdays are the days. Oh yeah, it's Tuesday. Yeah, the fish know. The yeah, today. they only let the hatchery fish go today. It's actually how they, the it's actually how they release them. Yeah. They only release them to bite on Tuesdays. So now we're gonna catch all wild, so that's awesome. Just got touched again. Weird small it was, it was bite. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. But I see him on the screen right there. Oh, there it was. There's the bottom. The other thing too, make sure it's bottom. Because a lot of times like I can't tell you how many times people go to reel and it's a fish and then they just take it right from the fish. So pull it, pull a strip out first, you mean? Well, I just let it like watch it and oh, if okay. you know, make sure it's bottom before you go cranking up on it. Yeah. We're about to get bent. They were all down here in this lower half yesterday, but. Oh! Oh, I just hit that ledge. He's a steelhead fisherman, you guys. Yeah, that was like a bobber down with a bead. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're gonna make two or three passes. Yesterday didn't really start going until a little, like an hour after light. All right, let's bring it up and go right back to the top. Just lift up, swing the weight to yourself like so. Go ahead and let him ride. Oh, that's a, Jordan, that's a bite. 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 I think he's got you tangled now. What happened yesterday? We had one bite and go above the bait and then drop it. And it came back and just wrapped everything up. Yeah. Go try to slow on the way out just in case that bait's still fishing. Yeah, I told you you had a bite, dude. Look at that little guy. <laughs> on the board. On the board. This is what we're out here. That's why we're out here, everybody. Chance at a trophy fish like this. Fish fish I'm gonna right? hand line him. You see Jordan here. I'm hand lining him. <laughs> Can we cut plug him? Is that a white fish? I don't know what it is. It's a baby squaw. Let me get bit on the descent. It's a real hard descent bite today. Jordan, stop it just a little shy of the bottom. There's a mark just off the bottom. If, if we get on a you know a fish or I mark some fish or something we got to be ready to get in and out you know just as quickly as possible because a lot of times the bite window is pretty short like yeah. you know they'll just start snapping all of a sudden and you want to take part in that so you know we just got to keep our gear in the water and and fish effectively and we'll get them at some point and we're gonna slide down and go make one little pass through the sixes here and then we're gonna run up. That's how you know it's good. Well everybody, we moved downriver. We're upriver now. <laughs> you know, some people are steelhead fishermen. They just, you know, they sit in a raft their whole life and their hair just blows in the wind and they don't know up from down. Going at least, <laughs> but we moved locations. We're gonna drop them in here. There's a few less boats out this way. I think we're gonna get them. That's right. It feels fishy. It's just tide just started running out, so hopefully this current movement starts to get the fish going. We got one squaw fish so far. One I might. Cook. We did know of one, one fish, fish caught so far. <clears throat> It'll get going. Afternoon is always better out here. That's what I heard anyways. <laughs> Stay tuned, you won't be pissed. Everybody check your spin, make sure your spin's real nice and tight, that was pretty. Let's get a new bait on each of those bow rods. Look at these baits spinning. How have they not gotten just ripped off the boat? Those are spinning so good, they might just get bit on the way down. <laughs> 
So it's gonna start off kind of, we're gonna start off in about 25 feet of water and it's just gonna come up slowly into like 15, 16 up here. Legend has it, if you don't take your eyes off your rod all day, you'll get a headache. I am just dragging like downtown Portland right now. Oh, they got one on right here. Whee! I think, don't they? Like gray boat sideways. Oh yeah, he's a bendo, man. He's hella bendo. Looks like they got two flashers tangled like hello. Oh, 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 oh. What's that bottom bite? Brought it in the boat. Oh, that's a dead fish. That's a dead fish. My heart's starting to pound. Look at that, a fish got tired. Guys, it's amazing. They do exist. They're in here. Oh, that looks real f good. Look at that one. Bite, come on. Did you see it? Yeah. See the scale all missing there? I don't know. It looked damn good. But look how good that herring looks. Jesus. We didn't want to catch them super early because, you know, I want to make sure my clients get their money's worth and spend a full day on the water. So I kind of wait, make it happen right at the end of the day. <laughs> Sean's laughing because he knows that's a complete bull. <laughs> so we ran up river, we ran up river and it was kind of tough. Didn't see much going on, didn't mark many. So we're going to shoot back down to where we started this morning, make another pass through there make another pass through one more lower section and then I think we're gonna head out to the Columbia because it's been an afternoon show out there so once the tide starts to slow down out there we'll we'll get out there and hopefully get on a few fish so stay tuned see you soon how deep are we we're in 18 feet of water so we'll go probably 20 or so 22 Caught a small fish, worthless fish all year. Same spot too. Better turn it around. Too. Oh, it was a salmon, baby. They got teeth like shredded. Whatever it was was still there for a second when I went to reel. It was bobbing up and down like that. Yeah, there's a good slice in it. We whip around. Freshy. I marked that fish, whatever it was. That was close. Close. We're getting closer. That was weird because I marked it. It was it was a salmon mark. I mean, it, well, it, there it goes, Jordan. Yeah, it looked good. The mark and everything. Jordan messed it up. Pulled it right out of his mouth. What's wrong with it, Jordan? Nothing. Nothing at all. Here we go. <laughs> What kind of jelly is that, George? Is that George's jelly? It's hair cream. No wonder why you're catching all those <laughs> fish, dude. <laughs> all right, a little update. Dog bite. I suck at fishing. But that's about to change, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to go pick up Jordan's dogs. <laughs> the fishing is about to get rough. Rough, rough. <laughs> <laughs> wow, man, that hair makes him corny. <laughs> I thought it was yeah. the smile, not the hair. <laughs> We're gonna run in, use the bathroom, go grab Jordan's dogs, and we're gonna head out, make a big change, and head out to the Columbia and uh, go grind away out there. We're getting close to tide change, and uh, there's been a pretty good bite out there in the afternoon. So we're, uh, we're staying positive. Jordan already you know, missed a couple. Look at this. Landed dance. a monster squawfish. Squawfish? This isn't the salmon dance. This is the peepee -pee hey, dance. Everybody, I want you to look at Jordan right now. Who wears waders <laughs> out on the big boat? <laughs> I had to tell my people this morning. I said, oh, he'll be here in a minute. He's putting his waders on. <laughs> uh, Last time we went sturgeon fishing, I forgot my boots, so I wore my cowboy boots over the waders. <laughs> It was fishy. Yeah, What's the limit on cormorants? 
Look at that. That's our problem. <laughs> There's where all our baby salmon go. You little bastards. All right. It's up against us, man. Birds, sea lions, you name it, dams, warming ocean, bad ocean conditions, you name it. Oh. But we're still going to catch them today. All right. Let's do this. Another depressing update. Jordan's back. <laughs> wow. Oh man. You ready for this? Me too. Hey, go ahead and uh, leave a comment if you think we're gonna catch one at the nude beach. Hey Mon, Columbia River, here we come. Take your baits off. We're gonna get frisky here. <laughs> and here I want to make sure you guys are right down on the bottom, like dragging a little even. We want to drag over the high spots and drop into the low spots, more or less. But if you just see it consistently go, doo -doo 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 -doo, then you probably want to come up a crank. Okay. That's it. Yeah, like 31 pounds. I'm down. There will be a bite go off, oh, I can yeah, tell. It's just to the right. Well, it's one of those things, too, right fishing weather. on this side of town. I'm like, I'll fish till dark because there's no way I'm sitting in traffic. I know. <laughs> no, true. thank you. <laughs> no, it's going to happen. I bet it happens at like. I bet it happens around like 1 30 ish. Scraping bottom. I'm gonna get bit this pass. I just got that feeling. You gonna bite a little? Are we gonna get one? It's a good attitude. I was about to hit her bottom. I just caught the rod springing back up. I heard it. I don't know. It's going to be an IOU under attached to it. Right? Seems fine. Must have been bottom. Wait, 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 wait. Let him beat it. Let him beat it. Let him beat it. Let him beat it. Wait, wait, wait. Free luck, guys. Good job, Jordan. Way to let him eat it. Let him fight. He's real and don't come. Good shit, Jordy. Look at that. that was quick. God. I told the you. The whole purple back. Out of nowhere. What a purple back. Oh, man. I've been waiting for that smell. <laughs> I love Chinook so much. Look at that. A little white mouth. Yeah. Wow. Snow belly. Just perfect. Thank you, dude. Yeah, baby. Thank you, Eric Swanson, <laughs> for talking one on, dude. Yes, he did. The old phone bite. <laughs> the old phone. Woo! That's awesome. Look at how beautiful that color is down the back. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Big old spots. Hatchery fans. <laughs> Woo! All right, dude. Hold them up for a pick, Jordan. One, two, three. Yeah, that's sick. 
Yeah, yeah baby. Just persistence. I mean, that's what it is. Keeping your baits in the water. Yeah, just toss them there and we'll bleed them out. Sweet. Look at that tail, even. Look at that tail. Wow. Purple fin out. That is so cool. What a little chunklet. Freaking thank the creator for that one, man. That was awesome. Now, uh, let's call Eric so, back. Yeah, I better call Eric back. <laughs> We're gonna get yeah. probably get another bite, you know. Oh, it feels good to get oh, the gank off the boat. Woo! It was all like, oh, oh, oh. I love that bite. <laughs> There's something about it. Oh, I love that I smell. The I've seen a few of them. Yep. They need to make a cologne like that. <laughs> we'll have yeah. a Procure musk. It'll be we should Springer musk. It'll be the newest scent. <laughs> the new Pro Cure Cologne. After you catch the fish, you catch the ladies with the Springer Musk. <laughs> and now we could go pass after pass and get them. Who knows, you know? But I do know one thing. We are going to try to continue the bite. Swanson was just had to just. There's nothing worse than like on a slow day and you're talking to someone, they're like, oh, there he is, hold on, wait, wait, let him eat it. It's just burying the rod and you're just hearing it on the phone, like, awesome. <laughs> and then the best part is they always set their phone down so you can just sit there. I always just listen to the whole thing. Yeah, Real like, lip, lip, you know, it's so funny. 60 pounder. Yeah. <laughs> you ready now for another six hours. Right. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? I could just turn the boat mojo around. It's all good now, baby. All right, guys, quick little update. Time check, 1.30. And tide's just starting to slow down. Jordan put a really nice one in the boat. Um, and we heard Cameron got one right about the same time, so it might be starting here soon. So this is kind of the afternoon gig we've been waiting for all day. You know, we got up at three o'clock in the morning to wait for the afternoon bite. Feel the real. <laughs> looks like, looks like uh, bite o'clock. Oh yeah, it's bite o one. Bite o one. It's bite o one. <laughs> Stay tuned, guys. It's gonna be good. I just like to spray mine out, so it gets all the blood out of them and gets all those big chunks of blood. So at the end of the day, your fish bag's not full of blood, nasty, bloody, slimy water. Hey, who's your good luck? I love you, Nick. You stay right here. I'm gonna pay you to stay here. I'll hang out, okay? Keep reeling. Keep reeling. Atta boy. <laughs> Dude, he pinned it. I'm staying. <laughs> that rod just went nuts. Dude, I, I thought you were messing with me, dude. The rod was behind you just going. <laughs> Don't <do not> win. <laughs> that is too funny. Oh yeah. Columbia fish too. Oh my god, it's a hatchery! It's a hatchery! Dude, that is a tank! That's a huge tank! Look at that guy! Hey! Hey! Yeah! Holy cow! Hold it up! Hold it up! Hold this one back! Oh, that's awesome! That was great! I'm just a good guy, you know, I bring luck to everyone. Welcome to the club! The party. <laughs> oh, we got Clint riding in. Well, that is a tank, dude. Columbia oh, fish, that too. Is that a blackie? Yeah, yeah it is. It's it's belly's all gray. Mm. Wow, what a fish. Right Here, let me take a picture of you. Oh, Hold it up. Don't drop it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be if you drop it. Cam. 
We had just pulled up. I said, pull your camera out. I'm going to pull up and talk to camera. So oh, Cameron. Shit. And dude, I started yelling. I see the rod behind you just going, I thought you were messing with me, dude. It hit it so hard. Cameron would do it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Good job, guys. Hey, Cameron, oh, nice. Nice yeah, flasher. Let's go, let's go make a pass. Like, we'll, we'll go up and make a pass. Yeah, yeah. I'll meet you at the top. The golden boy, dude. The golden boy. It's hard being camera black. Did you see that rod? Did you see it all the way down? Dude, just, right and down. then just straight back <laughs> up. Just straight back down again. Yeah. I just started screaming. I couldn't even get the words out. I'm like, ah! <laughs> Is that, was that other one you got a hatchery? Oh. Hatchery is the second wow. first one. Nice. Whack it. Stack it. Clint's got a fish on everybody. <laughs> this boy's got it on right now. <laughs> Clint! <laughs> oh, he's got him. Look at his little man. That's awesome. Way out in the middle. Look at him fighting that thing like a That's champ. Awesome. He's reefing on him. Get yeah, him, boy! Get him! Okay, now you gotta lift it up. Lift up. Ready? One, two, three. Lift. Higher. Higher. Uh, higher. Uh, Jake, you holding that? You got it, bud. Okay. You got it in the camera? Yeah, I got it. Zach, get in here. Turn around. Ready? You tired? That was a good one, huh? Got him! Oh, you there. Okay, come back here with me. Come back here with me. Clip. 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 Nope, he's got a bad angle. Lift off. Oh my god, I almost had him. No, no, don't fall down. Okay, now real. I just got a bad angle. Now lift. Lift off. Nope, nope, nope. Run out that way. Down in the water. Good job. Yep, right here. Lift. Walk back. Walk back. Nope, nope, nope. Come back this way. <laughs> See when he's coming under this way? Once he circles out, just keep him nice and tight, and then circle out, lift up and out and out. There you go, now lift. Yeah, baby! Yeah! Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah baby! Nice yeah. fish, brother. Heavy flint, top off, double up. Oh. It's dinner right. time, baby. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That was awesome, man. Cool. And then I heard you go, bite. yep, yep, and I was like, oh, fish. <laughs> oh, what a fish. Nice. Look at that thing. I want you guys to get those other rods in. What a little button nose, man. What I more, man. Woo! Woo! My dry streak has ended. <laughs> Look at yes. That. Look at that button nose. Anybody that's got bait, get them in. Did a great job. I mean, it's, ooh, it's a blackie too. It's look at the fish. face on that thing, dude. Just look at dark how clear. Black. Wow, look at that. Look at the sea lice on them. Just yeah, covered. Yeah, baby, still yeah. got tails even. That's right out of the ocean. Fresh out of the ocean. Oh, that's awesome. Woo! Look, that's beautiful. Look at the spots. And the hooks are out. Didn't Woo. even touch it. Oh my gosh. I'm telling you, the second they get a second, they just pop out. Perfect. Put in work, boy. All them out. Hot little bite, man. I know. Boom, boom. Dark gray cheek right there. If you compare the two, that this is how you tell a Columbia fish. I don't know if you guys know this, but you yeah. see how that dark, how it has all that black on its cheek. Yeah. They call them black faces. Those are the Columbia River, upriver bright fish, you know, going way above the the dam. Oh, and okay. So you think? Yeah. Yeah, so see how his lower jaw is just like super dark, like look at how black that thing is. It almost looks like a Thule, you know, their faces. Right. Oh, that's weird. I saw that. I was wondering what that was. Maybe a lamprey mark or something? Looks like it, but it's actual like 
pulled off his skin. It's weird. Little, get back. Look at that thing. Yeah. Way to go, Chrome bud. lightning. Way to go. Woo! Way to get it through the fish. Oh, it's awesome. I told you. Oh, they just got one, too. Oh. There's a snap going right now. Excuse my language. I don't cuss. But all those blurps you hear <laughs> are not real. <laughs> all right, guys. So I'm going to show you kind of how to take care of your fish after you have caught one. So I'm going to take my Gerber knife here. And just what I do is I put one finger under there, a couple fingers in the other gill to spread his gill plate apart. And then I just take my knife, my Gerber knife here, and I'm going to go right in behind the gills. And I'm just going to trace the gill line. Just like so, all the way up there. And what that's going to do is obviously is going to hit the main artery and she'll just bleed out real, real good. Every time you do that, you'll hit the main artery. Oh, I know it's not beautiful. And it will, uh, it'll get all the blood out of the meat and keep the fish nice and fresh or keep the blood out of the eggs and so on and so forth. Um, it also at the end when you're cleaning, Jordan, 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 fish, fish, fish. Yes. 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 Kyle, take Kyle. it, Kyle. Kyle. Get that other rod real then, please. Gotcha. Like you running, please. Go, baby. Give me a tall lift. Yeah. 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 It doesn't take many with that metal glove. Oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> it got real here quick. Hell yeah. Uh. Uh-uh. I like that. Ooh, he's cold. Another head? Was it? No, that one's a buck, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it looks like uh, Actually, I can't see. Yeah, we got another one, everybody! <laughs> oh, I like springer fishing now. Look at that tail, though. Look at the rays on this thing. Right, so Springer fishing is really fun when you catch them like this. God, right, I'm about to go back up. If we don't get bit in like the next hundred, I don't know, 200 feet, we're going back up. Because these are way out off the edge. That was awesome. This is how you bleed and catch one. Yeah, and that's how you bleed <laughs> and catch someone in Here, shall we do this demo again? Oh, that looks so tasty, that one does. That's another upriver. Yep. They're running side by side. So once again, right in behind the gills, tracing it. And then when you go to clean those fish too, it's gonna be super easy to clean them because you can just cut the, the neck piece and then pop the whole gill set out. I'll show you at the end when we're cleaning these fish. Mm. That one looks like a butterball. Butterball Springer. You're up, sweetie. Woo! We're gonna go back up and try to cut those fish off. We actually got two in a row, and then we, while we were getting everything all squared away, the other rod came up stripped. So I'm pretty sure, uh, you know, we missed another one. So we're on them now. Woo! Patience is crazy in this game. And they come quick and they come fast once it starts. Got a fish on the screen. Right, see that long elongated mark right above there? See this? This is our flasher, but that's a fish right there laying right on the top. Yeah, everyone I've just seen, seen get netted has gotten killed. Except for Clint. <laughs> Except for Clint. But he did finally catch one. But I am proud of Clint because he's out here just like every sportsman should be, you know, out here trying, even with though they're boys. not, yeah, with his kid, getting kids outdoors, and, you know, that's what every sportsman should do, regardless of the reports or what they're hearing from the fisheries or not, get out here and fish and try, anyone can do this, just get out here and put the effort in, it's, it's a lot of fun. You guys are 
are liking this episode, be sure to share it out there. We want everybody to see this stuff. Share it with your family, share it with your friends. Be sure to like it down below, and, and while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, that's gonna go 16. Thir no, Let no kidding. Let me see what it looks like. I was gonna go 13 it's and a half. Hard when it's not in my hand, I don't know. <laughs> it's definitely bigger than 13. I'm gonna go 14 and a half. 14 and a half is my guess. I'm fishing so perfect right now. Been fishing pretty good all day. <laughs> right. 14.8. Ooh, no, 14.98. 14, 14 goes back and forth. 14, 8, 14, 9, 14 yep. pounds. Almost yeah. a 15 pounder. That's a nice drink. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. We're calling it 15 pounds because yep. with all that blood it dumped, it was 15. A three hundred and some dollar fish. Oh my god! <laughs> Fifty bucks a pound. Yeah. <laughs> beauty. Look at that. That's so awesome. That's a beautiful fish. It is a beauty. You can take that one up, shove it up in that bag okay. up there. Yeah, you had something. Oh, what do you got, dude? Got some with underwear. Diaper. <laughs> you got bite. underwear, dude. I ain't touching that. Hey. Oh god. Oh, it's a diaper. What is that? It's a jock strap. Dude, what if that was pulled off a body down there? <laughs> it's like a t-shirt, dude. It's like a bra. It looks like panties. Well, I got something, but now my wife's got something. <laughs> That's terrible. Oh, God, it is, man. Yeah. Get that out of here. Yeah, get Richard's... a steelhead pose. Hold on, let's see that thing. Oh, panties, dude. <laughs> Now that's a first for me. Get that out of here. The dude. panty bite's on. Well, that's got to be a first, eh? You just catch panties? <laughs> <laughs> we'll label this one surprise for your catch. That is too gosh dang funny. Is that the first set of panties on your boat? Yeah, I don't usually catch panties. <laughs> Clint, you made the, you made it. You made the episode with a fish. Yeah. Finally. Wild? He, wanted, he really wants to bump one. All we've been getting is wilds. He hasn't <laughs> a you know what though? That's he part of the game. He fought it like a champ. He man. fought it really good, awesome. dude. I watched him, dude. <laughs> uh, we got the whole crew out here today. What's up, What's up man? Trying to catch a fish, man. What do you right. got? Three. Yeah, you did. <laughs> All right, addicts. We are currently at. 354 time check. We're on our last pass. We got into a pretty good flurry there. Uh, we we all kind of got a little bit of action. Cameron got one. Clint even got one. I know, hard to believe, but he did. And uh, we got a couple out of it. And we kind of got in a little pot of them. But uh, we're gonna do one more pass, one long pass. To try to get this young lady here a fish. And I think it's gonna happen. Stay tuned, guys. Game on. Oh, camera's got one on right now. Yep. Well, we're in line with him. Catch his buddies. He's just getting them all. Get them, Cam. Cameron's tangled. One of the other rods got tangled in it. Net's going to the bow now. Yeah! And it's coming home, baby. <laughs> Did he just throw the net down and do a suck yeah. <laughs> Charles! It's a pain in the ass to do that solo. Got it. Ew! Atta boy! Did the Nixie crew put the beat down on him today. Yeah, I'll take it up. <laughs> Is that a feeder king? <laughs> Woo! Woo! Yeah, it's so hard to net a fish on my... Oh, I know! I was like, are you clipped or what? I was like, stop moving! <laughs> You're just doing this. <laughs> oh, I guess I'm done. That's it. Oh, Later, brother. Hey, man. Can it happen? 
Alright, we'll do one more half pass for you. Alright, addicts. Well, I was gonna call it, and then Cameron said, let's do one more half pass. Because Cameron hooked two on that pass, so we're gonna go do it. That's what kind of guy I am. So you can book your trip at 503. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Odds are in our favor now. Can't believe you can. Terrible Why idea. Why did you tell me to do that other pass? Could've what been the hell? Portland. I could have been home. Uh, yeah, right. I only well, live a mile from the ramp, so. Good job today, guys. Yeah. That was fun. fun. That was fun. All right, I'll see you in the morning. All right, guys, that's a wrap. End of the day. We're going to head back to the dock, take care of these fish, maybe do a little fillet demo, and uh, we'll see you at the dock. Incredible of me as I've ever seen. It's marbled. <laughs> so this is why I bleed the fish like I do, because at the end of the day, I can just take it, snip this like that, and then basically your gills will just, if you just grab them and twist, they'll just pull right out like that. That's why I bleed those fish the way I do. So it's what I do with this is after I have the carcass. Um, filleted out. There's two things you can still remove from this fish that are edible and I do it quite often and very very good eating. You can barbecue them, put it in the microwave for a second, but I just take my knife, insert it through the backbone, and then just follow the backbone down, cut that one out, and then you get all that back meat like that and all that stuff you can either make burgers with it or um, I just barbecue them, just marinate them and barbecue them, just like you would the filet of the salmon, and they're incredible. This is a piece that most people throw away, and in my opinion, is one of the best eating. So you just take your knife and insert it on this side of the gill plate versus the side you filet from, and then right on the spine there, and just push, and then you have your collar. I'm a big advocate of taking care of your fish and your fillets and mm -hmm. taking home something really good to eat. If you look at when I scrape over the top of that, look how much blood and nasty stuff. Most guys just throw that right into a bag and, you know, and then there's also blood veins that run along this here on the belly. And so if you just take your knife and run up those veins like that, I don't wash my fish down. Some guys spray it down, but it makes the meat all chalky and white and I'm not a fan of it. So I just do that. Yeah, that's good stuff. And then, you always want to keep your fish skin to skin and meat to meat. So what I do is I just make one cut right here for the clients to take home. I just cut it down to the skin, flip it over like so. And then it's always the skin to skin and you don't have to worry about your meat touching the skin and so on and so forth. Well, everybody, that concludes this week's episode of Addicted Life. First and foremost, we want to thank you all so incredibly much for watching. What we want you to ask, or we want to ask you guys to do is go down here, like and share this out there to be entered to win an addicted prize pack that we give out every week to show our appreciation a little bit for you guys watching each and every one of these episodes. If you want to get out here and catch some fish with Nick, obviously it's a great time. It's gonna be a great season coming up here. He's got Give spots open. So again, thank you so much. Be sure and go down here, subscribe to this channel so you see all the pop-ups coming up and every episode we have every Sunday. So thanks so much, addicts. You guys stay fishy. We'll see you out there on the river. See you on the water.